Mr. President, High Commissioner for Human Rights, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, I wish to congratulate Your Excellency Omar Znibev, Permanent Representative of the Kingdom of Morocco, on your election as Council President for 2024. I'm confident that under your able leadership, the Council will continue to strengthen its credentials in the promotion and protection of international human rights standards and practices. Mr. President, 2024 will be an important year for Malta in multilateralism. This year, we celebrate 60 years of our United Nations membership. This year, Malta will also continue its work at the UN Security Council in our second year as elected member. We have also just commenced our chairpersonship in office of the OSCE in Vienna. Our objectives in these roles, as well as here at the Council, remain those of upholding international norms and principles and to support and strengthen the multilateral system. We remain convinced more than ever that multilateralism matters. Mr. President, yet again we gather in Geneva, the home of human rights, in the shadow of conflagration of war, conflict, instability, and mistrust in the multilateral system. We are shocked and grieved by the death of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny. Our thoughts are with his family and with all those in Russia and beyond who believe in a democratic and peaceful future for Russia. Another year has passed and the death and destruction inflicted on Ukraine by Russian act of aggression continues unabated. Earlier this month, I visited Kyiv and other cities in Ukraine as chairperson in office of the OSCE. It is heartbreaking to witness so many broken lives, destroyed homes and civilian infrastructure, all the persons who have lost the only home they ever owned, all caught up in this unnecessary tragedy brought on by the unforgiving war machine of the Russian Federation. I also remember that the Ukrainian children forcibly deported from the occupied regions of Ukraine and who remain unable to live with their families and friends in the country of their birth, despite international calls for their return. Malta has maintained a consistent position since the start of the war of aggression two years ago. Russia must immediately halt its war machine and withdraw from all territories within Ukraine's internationally recognized borders. Malta also fully supports the commission of inquiry set up by this council and considers the documented evidence already gathered as an important record of the violations committed in Ukraine. Mr. President, continued destabilizing events in the Middle East threaten to escalate tensions and conflict in an already troubled region. Malta unequivocally condemns Hamas terrorist attack on Israel of the 7th of October 2023 and calls for the release of all hostages. While we understand Israel's need to respond to this heinous attack and to protect its citizens, actions taken since October led us to make repeated calls for the protection of civilians in Gaza and for any action taken to fully uh, be implemented in line with international human rights law and international humanitarian law, as well as permanent ceasefire. We are glad for the opportunity of our leading role at the Security Council that led to the adoption of Resolution 2712 last November. We also welcome the adoption of Resolution 2720, adopted in December, and call for their full and immediate implementation. A two-state solution based on the pre-1967 borders addressing the legitimate concerns and aspirations of both sides, in line with the relevant UNSC resolutions, remains the only viable option. And finally, Mr. President, I reiterate Malta's full support to independence uh, to the independence of the OHCHR and to the High Commissioner for the unrelenting defense of human rights for all. Thank you.